What is up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Penny. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2024 Toyota Corolla GR, courtesy of Younger Toyota in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So today we're in this one today because this is the fun Corolla known as the GR Corolla which stands for Gazoo Racing. So GR to Toyota is kind of like the Type R is to Honda. It's kind of like AMG is to Mercedes and so on. So ultimately in this video we'll be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to handling, steering feel, ride quality, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, Let's start with pricing. It's, uh, as you can imagine, there are a few different trim levels for the 2024 GR Corolla. First one being the Core, starting at $36,500, premium for $40,320, and the Circuit Edition going for $45,140. But regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plant on this one is going to be the same. Powering the Beast is a 1.6 liter turbocharged three cylinder, putting out 300 horsepower at 6,500 RPM, 273 pound feet of torque, coming in at 3,000 rpm that power being sent to all four wheels yes this is all-wheel drive only which is good because it's snowy today through a six-speed manual with rev matching you gotta love that zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 4.9 seconds top speed 142 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming in at 21 in the city 28 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but so now before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in the gr corolla one of the mention to you guys the drive mids so there's a little toggle switch located just in front of the shifter drive mids will include eco normal sport and custom essentially adjusting things like the throttle response and the steering sensitivity and so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the acceleration here to the test i will say my gopro literally just died before I started filming this video so i'm gonna have to buy a new one tomorrow so Forgive me, you're gonna see more of my ugly face in this video than normal, but again, having said that, let's go ahead and give this a shot and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2024 GR Corolla here up to speed. All right, in three, two, one, here we go. Here we go, baby. Nice. That's fun. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. And the cool thing is there was no slipping, of course, because power isn't being sent to the front wheels like some of the competition. Power is sent to all four wheels. So even in the snow, like we have here in Hagerstown, Maryland today, you still got perfect traction. So I would think there's a little bit of snow back there. I want to take it back there a little bit later, maybe in this video, I want to show you guys that this thing can handle perfectly fine in the snow. So I love that. Acceleration is plenty fine. I don't think you're going to get 4.9 seconds on the street, but maybe on the track, but still, that's a really good acceleration for what this vehicle is without a doubt. And the shifts are plenty fine as well. Sometimes you do get a little bit notchier shifts like in a Subaru, but with uh, the GR Corolla, it's actually pretty nice. Not quite as nice as uh, like an Integra Type S. I love driving that car, but it's pretty darn good. I will say that. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important so up front you will find 14 inch ventilated front discs in the back 11.7 inch ventilated rear discs they would also mention though if you go with the premium or circuit edition trim levels you're also going to get red painted front calipers with the gr logo of course and a center handbrake comes standard for all trim levels across the board why is that you might ask because you can actually allow up to 70 percent of the power just to be sent to the rear wheels alone so you can actually do a little bit of drifting not that we're going to do that in this car today because it's not my car it belongs to a dealership but it's possible, and that's why the handbrake is there. So that's pretty cool too. But anyways, as far as braking feel goes, definitely instantly bites, brings you to an immediate stop. So absolutely no issues when it comes to that. Then touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna get a McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, double wishbone type, multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. But you also get a rear strut brace and a sport tuned suspension by Gazoo Racing, of course. So as far as steering feel goes, let's do that. Wow, I love the steering feel of this thing instantly points you in the direction that you want to go. I've only driven straight in this thing so far, so <laughs> I haven't really got a chance to test it out, but I love the steering feel. It's such a heavy weight to it. It instantly points you in the direction that you want to go. That is a brilliant steering feel, incredible handling of this thing. So well done, Toyota. I absolutely love that. As far as ride quality goes, 
I don't know, you do tend to feel a little bit more of the road, but it's nothing that would bother me, let's say. So I personally don't have any issues with it. As far as cabin noise goes, you do get a good bit of that engine noise, which is a good thing if you're buying this car. So I absolutely love that. We will be doing an exhaust clip a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned for that for sure. But yeah, I absolutely love the engine sound that uh, I'm hearing in the cabin here. So anyways, the touching on rear visibility, I can see 100% perfectly fine out the back. So you are definitely not gonna have any issues with that whatsoever either. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 Toyota GR Corolla. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2024 Toyota GR Corolla finished in ice cap. In case you were curious of our exact exterior color name that we had on this one here today. But let me go ahead to start with, there is a new color for the 2024 model year. It is called Blue Flame, and it is available only in the Circuit Edition trim level. So Blue Flame, that sounds like a color that Hank Hill would absolutely love. I think he got like the Blue Flame of Valor award for his propane sales one year. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and start with where this one is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter J, indicating that the GR Corolla is built and assembled in Japan, as it should be. But let's go ahead and start up front on this one. GR badging found in that front grille. And GR badging is going to be found all over this thing, actually. Um, you will find a matte black front grille for the core trim, but then it's going to be switched up to a gloss black front grille if you were to go with the premium or the circuit edition. Front air curtains to the sides there, helping direct air around the wheel. Entire combination, of course. LED headlights to the sides with LED daytime running lights. You do get the automatic feature, but you also get automatic high beams. I love that feature personally. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses the vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. And when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically bounce it back up the high beams for you there. So that is pretty stinking cool. You do get LED fog lights down below for all trim levels across the board as well. So that pretty much rounds out the front end. I love the look. Definitely bumped out the fenders for this GR Corolla. So anyway, let's now go ahead and make our way to the side all right so now since we are around to the side of this one first i want to start by mentioning there is a carbon fiber roof for the circuit edition trim level only obviously that's why we don't have it with us here today gloss black power adjustable side mirrors though do come standard for all trims you will get led integrated turn signals yet again for all trim levels across the board you do have some functional front fender vents and let me actually get up a little bit closer so I can show you guys that they are indeed functional actually I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not but I don't know just take my word for it they're functional you got the GR logo once again found in those front fenders just behind that but rear fender flares you guys can see that that is pretty cool yet again another really cool feature that well it's not really a feature but a little accent piece is you do get the GR4 badging found in the side skirts here so four meaning all-wheel drive of course Gazi racing so I love that I think that's a pretty cool little touch there take a look down at the wheel setup 18 by 8.5 inch gloss black 15 spoke alloys for the core and premium but then you get 18 by 8.5 inch gloss black 10 spoke forged alloys for the circuit edition but that pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right someone else is going around to the back of the snow covered gr corolla body colored rear spoiler for the core and premium trims gloss black rear spoiler for the circuit edition you will find led tail lights they do come standard for all trim levels across the board got the rear window wiper back there as well more gr badging of course but just below it all you will find either a matte black or gloss black rear diffuser yet again dependent upon the trim level but but then a triple exhaust with brushed stainless steel tips. That just sounds cool and it looks cool too. So anyways, having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. As always, here is that exhaust clip. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of this one, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a manual tailgate, of course, so just simply lift up underneath of the Toyota logo there. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 17.8 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there, of course, is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it. There were some grocery bag hooks back there. I was kind of surprised to see that. So I'm definitely a big fan of that. LED cargo lighting, was kind of expecting to see halogen, so nice seeing that as well. Then if you were to lift up underneath of that car, Floor, you are going to find the fix the flat kit with.
with a good bit of in-floor storage, but still would have preferred the spare tire. You guys know me. But anyways, then making our way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 29.9 inches, right around the same as my old Ford Mustang GT, actually. For reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Rear center armrest with cup holders, though, does come standard. And the rear passengers look forward a little bit. They will find a uh, USB charging port and a 12 volt power outlet as well. I just looked. So that's there for them, too. No rear ventilation. You really don't need it in this size of a car anyways but then make our way up to the front seats fabric seats are going to come standard on the core you got the cool gr logo in the headrest though and they're kind of a one-piece seat they actually look really good uh synthetic leather seating for the premium and circuit edition trims heated front seats again for those two the premium and circuit edition overall seat comfort was definitely pretty nice seats definitely hold you in place really nice as well um not anything crazy like nismo seats but yeah they definitely get the job done for sure Anyways, then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. You got the GR logo found in the bottom portion of it. It is leather wrapped for all trim levels and it will be heated for the premium and circuit edition trim levels. Anyways, now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. You got your GR logo on the one side. When you flip it over, Toyota logo, lock and lock. Pretty basic key overall, but it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is put my foot in the braking clutch and press that GR engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. And so once started up, you get a full 12 3 inch digital gauge cluster so that is pretty stinking cool when you change the drive modes it actually does adjust the look of that gauge cluster as well so if i put it in sport driving mode it looks like an old honda s2k kind of to me and then uh normal is pretty normal and <laughs> horrible description there but then eco is just going to show up as eco it doesn't change anything so a little bit of a difference there dependent upon the drive mode but overall it has pretty much everything you could possibly want up there you got boost pressure to the left there outside temperature as well how many miles you have left until you hit empty so uh, GR logo, of course, yet again. <laughs> so nothing wrong with the gauges there. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. Aluminum foot pedals come standard on all trim levels across the board. I like those. Gray stitch interior accents for the core and premium trim levels. That's through the seats, basically. But then you're going to get blue stitched interior accents for that circuit edition trim. Automatic climate control does come standard on all trim levels. So you just set the temperature. It's going to automatically hit it, of course. Wireless phone charger coming on the premium and circuit edition. So we don't have that today. Uh, just in front of the shifter here, you do get a little bit of storage there. You got the USB charging port to hook up uh, or to charge your phone, really. Just behind the shifter is that circular dial and button, which kind of sets you up in different modes. Like uh, if you turn it to the right, you can send 75% uh, of the power or the torque to the rear wheels. If you turn it to the left, you can send the majority of the power to the front wheels, a 60-40 split there. And if you push it in, you're going to get the track mode. So that's pretty cool, too. I like that that's there. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the 60-40 split there because uh, I don't think we want to put it in rear wheel drive in the snow. Just a hunch. But unless you're rally racing anyways now let's go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen here eight inch color touchscreen display does come standard on all trim levels bluetooth and audio streaming wireless android auto apple carplay you gotta love that you could check out your driving statistics up there if you wanted to along with your radio information and so when it comes to the sound systems there are two of them it's dependent upon the trim level so you're going to find six speakers for the core that we have today and then an eight speaker jbl sound system for the premium and circuit edition trim levels so having said that Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out our six speaker sound system that we have with us here today. Actually, not that bad for a six speaker sound system, if I'm being honest. There's a decent amount of bass there. Obviously, it's not going to be as good as the JBL. I love JBL. That was a, I had an external subwoofer in my RSX back in the day. It was a JBL subwoofer. Then I had an Alpine amp as well. But, anyways, JBL is an amazing company that's been around for decades. So, that's definitely a good sound system, I'm sure, as well. But anyways, last thing I want to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen, at least, is when you do put the GR Corolla in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side side curtain airbags do come standard. You're going to get a driver's knee airbag up front along with a passenger seat cushion airbag. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. This is pretty good. Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. That gives you a ton. Pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing assist, road sign assist, and a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, even for our core trim level. That's pretty cool. But then if you were to go with the premium or circuit edition, you're also going to get front and rear parking sensor. So it's gonna beep a lot at you if you get too close to something. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here, 
it's it's plenty quick. I love that. I love that it has all-wheel drive though. That's the big thing for me because the Integra Type S, the Civic Type R, they don't get all-wheel drive. And I live in Western Maryland slash Southern PA where we get a good bit of snow like we got today. So all-wheel drive is definitely something I would need if I were to daily drive this thing. I'm just saying. Great handling in this thing as well. Absolutely love that. I love the way the manual was set up as well. Sometimes, like I said, with other shifters, it can be a little bit notchy, like Subaru in particular, uh, even some Chevys. But um, typically what I found is Honda slash Acura, of course, does an amazing job with their shifters. And Toyota, it's usually hit and miss. Like I, I don't necessarily care for the, uh, the 86, but I really like the shifter here and the way it rode through the gears here in the GR Corolla. I'm just saying, but overall, yeah, this thing was fun. Let me know what you guys think of the GR Corolla in the comment section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media. If you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube, I put a bunch of spy shots of this thing before it got to the YouTube channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Mine,